Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for May 22nd, 2020. Check this out. Lemon. <laughs> I love yellow. I just love all these bright yellow cards. So this says access innovative thinking. The number is 23 reduces to five. This is the number that if you see repeating fives, um, and we can talk a little bit more about that. I have videos on repeating numbers, but those just kind of touch the surface and those are addressing uh, number frequencies for where we are right now and for what we can listen to right now. <laughs> they go much deeper than that. But the number of five usually indicates change, transformation, a big shot at something new, <laughs> right? And again, we have this yellow. So where does your self-esteem lie? How do you radiate your light? How do you show up in this world? What are your priorities? What is your sense of protection too? How do you protect yourself? So this access innovative thinking talks about acting on your inspiration. So some energy gets flowing within you. Again, we were saying, don't be impulsive with this. We don't want people leaping ahead before we see where the world is going to be, you know, where the world ends up landing. But you can start bringing your dreams into fruition. You can start getting this idea of how you want to exist, how you want to show up in this world. What do you want to contribute energetically and in a physical way? What is it that you create? So this is going to change your thinking about yourself, about your place in this world, about what you're capable of. Now this is, this gets tricky because we're all in this ego readjustment phase. And sometimes when we talk about access innovative thinking, people are like, oh, this is me discovering my talents, right? And we end up, <laughs> and people still, even when I say that in a video, they will still comment and be like, but I am super talented. What are you talking about? Um, <laughs> this is talking about not having an ego behind, <laughs> not having a lot of ego behind um, your quote unquote talents, but really looking at what, how, you know, what you can bring into the equation and getting clarity around that and realizing if you come at it from love and peace and you're not trying to be better than anybody else, you're not trying to be competitive, okay? If your creative pursuit is being a YouTuber, you know how competitive people can be, how they'll get jealous of you. I've had people stick their noses up in, in the air at me because I got more subscribers and it's, it's, it's weird and we have to be done with that, okay? We have to be there for one another. So this might be a collaborative effort with somebody. This might be teaming up with someone who shares a vision and it's beautiful. But again, it's all about the kind of energy you put behind it, okay? So we're gonna leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye-bye.